get your Hector Camacho tribute tee by clicking the link in the description. Zab Super Judah versus Hector Camacho Sr. Going out to Trey Titan. Let's get into it. I just realized in my last video that Trey Titan wanted me to cover Zab Judah versus Hector Camacho Sr. instead of Hector Camacho Jr. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. But I do feel that a fight against Sr. as opposed to Jr. will play out a little differently. And here's why. Hector Camacho Sr. was a little more flashier, more explosive, and more aggressive than his son. Hector Camacho Jr. relied more on counterpunching, whereas Hector Camacho Sr. would press the issue. Hector Camacho Jr. had speed, but his father was quicker. Father and son were equally talented, but his father had more confidence. Of course, Sr. had more longevity and experience than Junior. I hate to compare father and son, but comparisons just comes with the territory. And speaking of confidence, what I've learned in all these years of watching boxing is that you can have all the skills, talent, and ability in the world, but without confidence, it tends to fall short. Which brings me to Zab Super Judah. And truthfully, Zab Judah was probably one of the most naturally gifted, talented fighters in the history of boxing. And I will debate this fact with anyone, but I feel that he lacked that focus and self-belief, which caused him to lose fights that he should have won. And let's be honest, Carlos Baldemir had no business beating Zab Judah. That is a fight that Zab Judah should have won. But the fight doesn't do too much damage to Zab's legacy. But I was mad at him for losing that fight. But I bring up the focus and confidence because that would be a major factor going into a fight with Hector Camacho Sr. Now I'm going to be honest, and I may get myself into a little trouble with this statement, but Zab Judah is a better overall fighter than Hector Camacho Sr. Zab is more technically sound, He's a better counter puncher. He has the better footwork and he's more accurate with his punches. Both of these guys have outstanding resumes, but Hector Camacho Sr. is a little more seasoned, I believe. This fight is going to come down to confidence and endurance. And you probably already see where I'm going with this statement. And unfortunately, being the better fighter doesn't always guarantee you the victory. And one little slip up or lapse in judgment can cost you the fight. You have to implement the game plan and commit to it. Sometimes you have to make adjustments and have a plan B. And this is what hurt Zab in major fights. And any time that Zab was hit with a good shot, he would go into survival mode. Some of the best fighters can't handle adversity that well. And Zab was one of them. So I'm thinking that this fight takes place at junior welterweight and I see Zab putting the early rounds into the bank with his speed, reflexes, and sharp shooting counter punches. But as soon as Camacho makes the adjustments and collects all the data, I see Zab retreating and Camacho putting on the pressure. Zab will use his footwork to stay away from Camacho while hoping for a big countering opportunity. Meanwhile, Camacho will be stalking and piling on the points. So the only conclusion I can come to is a Hector Camacho Sr. unanimous decision. Let me know what you think and I will see you on the next video. I don't know if anyone has noticed or not, but Floyd Money Mayweather is retired. Floyd Money Mayweather is not an active fighter anymore. Floyd Money Mayweather is not in his 20s. Floyd Money Mayweather is a middle-aged, retired fighter. Floyd Money Mayweather is not responsible for the whole sport of boxing. Granted, I'm not a fan of the exhibition fights. I don't watch the exhibition fights. But at the same time, Floyd is simply making his money off the brand that he's built. 
So I'll say to you, if you don't like the exhibition fights, simply don't watch them. But there are fans who actually expect Floyd to still be fighting on the level that he was fighting on and to be fighting the top level guys of today. There are fans that actually expect Floyd to be fighting guys like Spence and Crawford at this point in his career and at the age that he's at. Here's the thing. Floyd was a big star. Floyd was the number one pound for pound fighter for many years. People considered him the number one pound for pound guy, whether you liked him or not. But at this point, it's time for someone else to step up. It's time for someone else to take his spot. And truthfully, Canelo is the number one guy, in my opinion, despite losing to B-Ball. He's still the number one pound for pound fighter in the world today. Just my opinion, don't go crazy. But you can't put the whole sport on Floyd's back. Some people say that Floyd is hurting the sport and he's ruining the sport with the exhibitions. Not really. Because there's other fighters in the sport of boxing. But the problem is, a lot of these guys are inactive and a lot of the big fights aren't happening because they're avoiding one another. There's too many belts, too many titles, but that's for another video. We've all heard the spiel before. So, a, a lot of people dislike Floyd, okay? So why are you so worried about him doing exhibitions? Why are we so caught up in a retired fighter? And why are we so worried about what a retired fighter is doing? Folks, the Floyd era is over. And it's time for some new blood. So we can't be so caught up in what Floyd, who's a retired fighter, who is a middle-aged man, is doing. And it's nonsense to suggest that the exhibitions are hurting the sport. No, the sport is hurting the sport. These current guys simply have to step up. And these current promoters simply have to make the fights the fans want to see. Now, 2022 is looking hopeful. I have high hopes for this year of boxing. But we have to stop being so caught up in what Floyd is doing. And we have to be stop being so caught up in what Canelo is doing. Because there's more to the sport than Canelo and Floyd. Okay? How about we take that same energy in requiring that these other guys step up? The guys like Jamal Charlo get off the sidelines and start fighting. How about that? How about putting more pressure on these promoters to make fights like Spence versus Bud? How about requiring that Wilder and AJ finally fight one another? But we're putting more energy into what a retired fighter is doing rather than asking these other guys why they haven't fought one another or why they're not fighting more than once a year. So I can go on and on about this, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like the channel, please share, promote, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it.